Hey guys, welcome to my channel Security Ninja. My name is Bohan. Today we are going to going through the challenge uh, Rival Crop on the Try Hack Me. This challenge was made by the Russia Panda and uh, big shout out to the Russia Panda for making this great challenge. So I guess we can uh, just getting started in this challenge. We are going to use the red line for uh, to analyze uh, Rival uh, ransomware infection uh, on a compromised machine. Uh, if you are not aware what the uh, red line is, um, basically it is a memory forensics tool uh, developed by the mandate. So I have already uh, started my machine here, um, which um, I have already started my um, try hack me machine here, and uh, uh, I already loaded my um, my uh, analysis session into into the red line so i guess we can just getting started uh, the first question is the uh, should be the easiest one so you are looking for what is the compromise employee's full name which you can go into the users tab here uh, so you can see you got a bunch of users here you got administrator guest john coleman uh, we know that uh, on the August 2nd, um, because you can look at the time, uh, we have 2018, uh, 1970, and uh, 2021. Uh, so we know that the revel was happened this year, right? Around the August. So um, so the, the user is John Coleman. Um, that is the answer. For the second question, what is the operating system of the compromised host? Uh, for this one, we can go into the file system. Um, oh, actually, we can go into the system information. Uh, sorry. So we can say that the operating system is uh, Windows 7 host uh, uh, premium 7601 service pack 1. Uh, that is the answer for the second question. Uh, for the third question, what is the name of the malicious executable that the user opened? Um, so uh, for this one, we can look at the file system tab. And we can see that we have one of the file here uh, looks pretty suspicious. So uh, we have this one rar2021.exe uh, was being accessed on August 2nd. And uh, if we check its hash here, it has an MD5 hash. And if we check the hash here, um, this one was I uh, opened early, but uh, if you check here, we have 62 vendors detected this as uh, ransomware. So for the Revel, you have another name. Uh, this is the same thing. Uh, so we know that uh, that file is actually the Revel ransomware. Um, so, so we know uh, the answer for the for this question is one rar 2021exe and for the fourth question, what is the uh, for URL that the user visited to download the malicious binary? So in the red line, you can actually look at all the file download history. Uh, we can see that uh, the Revel ransomware was being downloaded uh, from this URL, uh, which is the answer for the fourth question. And for the fifth uh, fifth question, we have already looked uh, before and the way Put inside the virus total, we know that it's a ransomware uh, for the rev, uh, Revel ransomware. And uh, for the next question, what is the size of the binary in kilobytes? Um, pretty similar for uh, for this. Uh, same thing, we can go into the tab here uh, for the one rar 2021exe We see the size is 164 kilobytes. Um, so that is the answer for the fifth question. Uh, uh, sorry, the, the, the sixth question, uh, question six. And for the question seven, uh, what is the extension to which the user's files got renamed? So essentially what happens for when the re uh, revel being executed on the local machine was um, the, the revel will encrypt the all the files the user has and uh, it will change the extension so the file cannot be opened unless the user paid the ransom or or decrypt those files um, so we we see that we have this extension here that was being changed by the revel ransomware 
Uh, so that is the answer. Um, for the next question, what is the number of files that got renamed and changed to that extension? So uh, if we're going to the timeline here, um, uh, we can see that we have a bunch of uh, uh, events here. So for the timeline, uh, it can help us to find all the events happened in the past. Um, uh, till this uh, memory image was being collected. So we can choose modified and changed uh, for that specific um, uh, extension. We can copy this extension and just search it in the timeline. So uh, if we search this timeline, uh, this, this extension in the timeline, we should be found, uh, we should find all the matched um we should have found all the matched extension number is 48 here so we know that the 48 files was being changed to that extension essentially being encrypted and for the next question what is the uh, full pass to the wallpaper that got changed by an uh, attacker uh, including the image name so for this question you have to setting the timestamp to the uh, August 2nd because we know that uh, the infection was happened on the August 2nd so we want to deselect modified changed and we're gonna select created because uh, because the wallpaper should be created by the ransomware um, after it infected the machine so we have the uh, BMP usually is a wallpaper in the Windows system so we can go into the next one. If we search the BMP in the created events, we see that we have one of these events here. Um, it, this file name is random file name uh, that being created by the Revel, which is a wallpaper um, that added by the Revel ransomware. So that is the answer for this question. Next question. The attacker left a note for the user on the desktop provide the name of the node with the extension um, so for this one going back to the file system uh, if we see on the desktop we see we have one of this readme.txt so usually this file is um, dropped by the ransomware uh, for the user to read and uh, you can visit certain website to either pay the ransom or to uh, get more information about this ransomware. So that's usually dropped by the ransomware. So uh, that is the answer for the for the question, for this question we have here. Uh, for the next question, the attacker created a folder uh, links for the United States under the this favorites folder and the left the file there, uh, provide the name of the file. Uh, so we want, we can uh, deselect all the folders here and we can search for the favorites, right? Uh, so we have a bunch of files uh, that uh, links to the United States. Um, so we have, um, so this one is, it should be the one was being created by the attacker um, because uh, because it was being so this one was actually created by the attacker um, so if you look at here uh, yeah so Uh, uh, yeah, so this one was being created by the attacker. Um, um, left a file there um, because if um, for this one, I have to use a hint because uh, it's kind of not very clear. So you have a file uh, includes. Uh, oh, uh, it's actually it says create links for the United States and uh, under this folder and the left of file there um, 
Yeah, so actually you don't have to like look at the hints, but if you look at the hints, uh, it's called Spanish term, but if you don't use the hints, you can see that other files under this folder, yeah, under this folder was being, uh, yeah, so if, yeah, uh, if you look at the hints, uh, it says it's uh, related to a Spanish uh, word, which is this one. Uh, so that is the answer for this question. So I have to use a hint here. Uh, so next question, there is a hidden file that was created on the user's desktop that has zero bytes. Provide the name of the hidden file. Um, we can go into the desktop here again and we can we can just look at the look at the attributes, right? So we have we have zero bytes, uh, zero bytes, which we have um, we have some hidden files here. But but if you look at the zero bytes, this is like a lock file, right? And we have the hidden bytes here, a hidden attribute here. So we know that the file for that one is the lock file. Uh, next question, the file, the user downloaded a decryptor hoping to decrypt all the files, but he failed. Provide the MD5 hash of the decryptor file. Um, uh, for that one, you can look at the, the, you can look at the decryptor, um, decryptor tor.exe, um, I'm not sure why my machine was a little bit slow. It's must be try hack me has some issue. Um, cannot move my mouse anymore. So I have to reconnect it. Um, uh, so yeah, so it should be good now. Um, uh, so we have the decrypt here. Uh, so this is actually the user downloaded um, a decryptor and we see the file name, is, uh, the hash for this decryptor is uh, the hash we found here. Um, for, the, for the second last question, we have the ransomware note, the attacker provided a URL that is accessible through the normal browser in order to decrypt one of the encrypted files for free, a user attempt to visit it. Provide the full URL path. So we want to figure out what that URL is. Basically, provides the user like a free sample decryption sample that uh, the attacker left to the user. So if we look at the browser URL history, so here has all the URLs the user attempted to the to visit. Uh, we look down here. Uh, we have a bunch of bin.com, which is legit. Um, if we just look down here, uh, we can see that the user visit, visited the Tor project. Um, probably he is trying to download the Tor and uh, trying to pay the ransom with uh, the Onion site because we know most uh, ransomware payment website is like a Onion website. Hosted on a, uh, like a, you can only visit them uh, via the Tor. But uh, we can look at here, we see that um, there should be like a domain that the, the attacker left to the user to um, to download the decryptor. I think it should be the just before the Tor project being downloaded, right? So uh, it gonna take a little bit of time to find it. Um, here is So we see that here we have this decryptor.top with this uh, random string here. 
So we know that that, that is actually uh, the URL the, the attacker uh, wants the user to visit and uh, download that uh, decryptor uh, for the for the free sample um for, for the fr for the free uh, decryption file for one uh, free decryption file right um so uh, the last question is what are some of the three names associated with the malware which infected this host so it's asking for the uh, revel ransomware that uh, that was actually has like a different names uh, so we have the revel and the other two names i have showed you guys early but if you want to find this, you can look at the. You have to use some like uh, other tools. Like uh, I always use Alien Alien Vault because it's it's easier. Um, so you just put that hash for the Ravel in here, and you can see uh, we have a bunch of file here. Um, it's a. Uh, yeah, we have some tags here. So we have this and this and the revel, right? Um, so that is for the for the challenge uh, revel corp. Um, it's a pretty good challenge. Teach you how to use red light to analyze a pretty recent ransomware attack. And uh, if you are interested to learn more about the revel or the red line. Uh, this challenge is definitely highly recommended for you to check it out and uh, uh, again uh, thank you for the Russia Panda for making this challenge and uh, it's a really great challenge um, uh, for this uh, community and uh, and uh, also thank you guys for watching this video and uh, I will see you guys in my next video